Okay, now the teeth. Now I won't lie, the teeth are fun. Okay. Let's get everything situated here. And let's go up in levels. Now, so first off, let's get this form into place. As you can see, when I high raised up the detail level, it also um, kind of ruined all the move or anything I might have had in this area. So I'm just going to kind of move this into position. I guess you could best say I'm bumping this into place. And I'm only going to match up the front teeth, try to, because the side teeth, you'll see that they're at different angles. So the side teeth, I'm going to move this form back, but leave the front alone. Just bring that out some. Okay, so that looks good, and that looks good. Okay, now that doesn't mean that you're done. It just means looks good there, looks good there, good. And etc. cetera and so forth. Good to go. All right, now I'm going to be using masking. How you do this, I would just follow along, really. Um, command allows me to go in here and start drawing a mask. So what I'm going to do is mask off all these teeth. And I'm going to try to do it in a way that has a gap between them, too. As you can see, the reference doesn't really line up as far as symmetry. So I'm just going to try my best and do one side. In this this case, I'm going to use the right hand side as the reference. Okay, yep, boring, but yeah, it's one of those things. Again, I'm just holding command and I'm drawing in each tooth with a mask. Okay, now I kind of want to save this mask. I'm going to be using it all the time. So, over here, oh wait a minute, first off, yeah, over here, go to masking, I'm going to say create alpha, so that will give me a nice resolution, but to get full resolution, what I want to do is go into my texture map, and say 4096. This way, it'll create an alpha that's 4096. And we all know 4096 is a higher resolution than 1024. So, OK. 
Okay, now that I got that masked off, um, I'm going to inverse it. And then I'm going to add a layer here using the layer brush. Okay, and I'm just hitting smooth to smooth out those forms. And if I toggle transparency, you're going to see that I did this. So th that makes it look like the teeth are floating on the top surface. So I'm going to take inverse this. I'm going to take the move tool, move elastic tool. And I'm just moving this out a little bit. And it's all about selection. At this point, I really don't need the reference. It's just in my way. So I'm just going to kind of go to town on this. Okay, so I did that. And then I'm going to inverse that back again. Just make it so they all sort of kind of uh, look like they're in the skull rather than just floating there. Okay, now I'm going to clear this mask and I can always get back to that mask. But now I'm going to take this move tool and sort of play around with these teeth a little bit. Whoops. Do need a vampire. I'm just pulling these out just a little smudge here. And I want to do it so they're not so jacked up looking. So I'm just using my orthodontal techniques, I guess. Now on the bottom here, I'm going to add some depth to it using the standard brush. Just going to go and basically do this. For the molders, I'm going to add a little bit more. And then I'm going to fade those all in. Okay, hold shift and it'll basically go in and smooth all that out. I got another little trick here that I'm going to be using, so add some more. We'll call these fillings. There we go. 
So now, if you take this clip brush, that's not the clip brush, that's the clip brush. Go across these. It'll do that. Okay, good. So now you got nice flat teeth. Okay, where's that mask at though? Uh, mask. Mask by Alpha. There we go. So now I can kind of repair these using the H polish brush. I can polish up this area. And then I can inverse it and polish the teeth. I'm doing a shift here, so you know, I'll polish it a little bit and then go on. What I'm doing is just getting all these to the same level of depth here. The teeth are going to be the hardest. They're just, they just are. Just adding a, a dab of goo and then taking that dab of goo and then trying to blend it in to the rest of it. So teeth are, they look thicker at the bottom than they do at the top. Even though that's not true, that's... They're, but on a sculpt you have to kind of do that. Good. Now, what's it's missing is the fact that all this gets chipped off, right? I know that molar is big, or that wisdom tooth is big. And now I'm just being picky, so. So teeth are, they go in a little bit. So I'm just taking each tooth and kind of pulling it out a little bit on the sides. And then pushing it into the middle a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Has some cleanup to do on the next video, but other than that, there's the teeth.